you can see it completely bent in. This also is like completely out of its shell. The GoPro completely broke off. All right, so guys, today we have the world's biggest RC car and probably one of the most expensive RC cars I've ever seen. Today what we're gonna be doing is unboxing it and we're gonna be driving it in a skate park with some massive ramps, ramping it up half pipes. This is gonna be, this is just gonna be a crazy video. I'm super, super excited for this, but just look how huge this thing is. It's massive. This is the box that it came in. What? Okay, so let's open this thing up. As you can tell, I haven't opened this yet. Well, here we have it. Um, we got another box. <laughs> Wonderful. My little kid mode is coming back. I used to have one of these crazy RC... Oh, Simon. You want to play with the uh, weird looking thing? You want to play with it? You want to, you want to play with it? You... Okay, maybe not. Back to the video. Oh. My. God. <gasps> this thing is huge. Well, I didn't, I didn't expect it to be actually the size of the box. Like I expected like maybe some like components and like, like. Oh. My. Oh. My. As you can see I'm struggling right here. Is there an easier way to do this? So this is the controller right there. That looks like we got some extra parts in there. <laughs> Look at this. This is like the size of me. What is life? This thing is huge. All right, so I'm not really sure how to get this plastic off. Let's try to take the body off of it. I don't know how to take the plastic off. Okay, there we go. All right, well, this thing is a absolute monster, as you can see. I mean, these are the shocks. That's my hand right there. Shocks are about the size of my hand. Now, the cool thing is we got some awesome accessories for this RC car. One, we got two fully charged batteries over there. We also got special tires. These tires are made for apparently like sand dunes and stuff, but they can also be made for driving this RC car on water. So we're not gonna do that in this video. We're gonna save that for another video, but we also got this clear body so we can put this on and we're not going to use this in the video because we still got to customize this so i want you guys to let me know in the comment section below what should i do to this body how should i paint it how should i put on, like you know some unspeakable logos on the side how should i paint it let me know and the best comment with the best idea on how to decorate this will get a shout out in the video that i decorated let me know in the comment section below but uh for now it looks like we have some big zip ties right here so i'm gonna need them scissors right there being completely honest, I did not, oh, okay, so it's holding down the shocks. That's why the thing was so low before. Oh my gosh, okay, so now we just turned it into a monster truck, basically. What? What? <laughs> All right, let's get the remote right here. Let's put the batteries in it, make sure it works, and then we're gonna head to a skate park, and we're gonna have some fun. These are the batteries for this RC car, but it doesn't take one. It takes two of them. We already got the other one in. All we gotta do is put this next one in and we should be good to go. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna cry because I'm just gonna have to stop recording and delete this video. Okay, so how does one turn it on? I'm not actually sure where the on button is. Most people say, maybe it's think, well, maybe you should read the manual. <laughs> I am the manual. Oh. Okay, I didn't actually think that was the on button. It says easy set on it, but I guess that's the on button. I got it on. You can turn the tires. If I hold this thing up. Oh. Yeah, I barely touched the trigger. This thing's pretty quick. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go to the skate park. <laughs> ah! You look excited to drive the RC car. Yes. <laughs> We're about to pull up to the skate park and uh, we got the thing in the backseat right there. That, that thing literally takes up your whole entire backseat. Yeah. Look at that. 
that's like a small child back there. And we also got, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a skateboard right there because we are going to try to tow Kayla with this RC car. Yeah, we're going to give it a try. Is Kayla gonna give it a try? Are you driving it? Ooh. Where are the brakes? <laughs> oh! oh. Okay, don't press Wait, hold one. on, hold on. There's a wheelie button. Really? Yeah. There's a wheelie button? Okay, do it again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so this is to go forward, but if you wanna do brakes, just do it. Ah, uh, gotcha, okay. There you go. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, pretty fast. Um, we're just driving it out here to get some warm up laps in, then we're gonna hit the skate park over there. <laughs> Let's try this wheelie thing again, ready? <laughs> So I'm wondering why the remote turned off. The whole entire battery just fell out. I guess I didn't secure it right. My bad. <laughs> Noob rookie mistake number one. Here we go. All right, now let's make sure this thing is completely secure. Okay, that should not be moving. This thing is ridiculously flat fast, and I can't wait to get over to the skate park. It's right over there. But I just wanted to do some warm-ups and like get used to the speed of it before I really take it onto other things. All right, ready for wheelie mode, or um, should I say burnout in the dirt mode? <laughs> I don't know what is. All right, your turn. Let me take the camera. It's hard to control because it's so fast. All right, do a wheelie. Oh. No, just. Oh! <laughs> You're literally gonna break my GoPro. My poor GoPro is gonna be completely broken by the time we're done with this video. Oh, I think it's already broke. Hold on. There we go. Okay. We should be good. <laughs> don't floor in reverse. It's not made to do backwards wheelies. You want to drive it over to the skate park? Okay, yeah, this is fun, but I, I say we hit some ramps. It's so fast that I can't even hold down the throttle. Like, uh, like, like I have to like barely tap it every once in a while. Okay, the steering is kind of hard. I don't know what I'm doing. It's like opposite. Well, we can adjust the steering. We do have to kind of calibrate it. So there's like knobs right there where we can calibrate it, but. Funsies, then we're gonna hit that giant half pipe over there. Alright, oh my god. I'm gonna line this one up. Hold on. It's making so much dust fly up. <laughs> you completely smashed it. There it is.
it completely broken? Uh, I think it's broken, babe. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go. A little bit of an update. The body's completely done on this RC car. You can see it completely bent in. This also is like completely out of its shell. I'm not really sure how to get that back in there. I think this body's pretty much toast. And then the GoPro, literally right when we jumped it into the pool, completely broke off. So unfortunately we didn't get any sick GoPro shots of it doing all those back flips, but we're gonna come back here and we're definitely gonna do it again. It may have looked like we completely destroyed that RC car, but the car itself, perfectly fine. There's a couple scratches on top of the shocks kind of where the body was. But other than that, the only damage to the car is the plastic body. The whole entire car, perfectly fine. Shocks are perfectly fine, no damages. Um, there might be a little bit of scratches under the chassis, but I mean, that's completely normal. I mean, we were literally doing like 20, 30 foot backflips with the thing. That was ridiculous. But we're gonna head back to the house. We're gonna try one more thing. We're definitely gonna have to try to find um, a skate park that has a lot less people, or we're gonna have to go on a day that it's not so busy because there's a lot of people over there and we didn't wanna hog the room or anything because we really need a lot of room for this RC car because I don't want this thing flying and hitting someone in the face because that would definitely knock him out. Because this thing's probably like 30 pounds and it's so fast that I really can't control. I mean, I can control it, but like with so many people at the skate park and stuff, it just wasn't the best place to do it. But it was still like, it was insane. What are you doing? We're going to drive it over here? I just want to see like, that would be a cool place to like. To drive the RC car? <laughs> Maybe another car. We still got the skateboard right here. When we get home, uh, we're gonna try to tow you on it. Um, yeah. I think this thing definitely has enough power to tow someone. For how high no you problem. were jumping it? That was ridiculous. Like guys, leave a like. Next, next time we go do that, I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to mount a GoPro on it because even if the GoPro mount wouldn't have fallen off in the beginning when we dipped into the loop and it flipped upside down, that GoPro would have fallen off us doing those jumps. Like it would have been, like we wouldn't be able to get any footage even if the GoPro was able, to, like it wouldn't be able to stay on. So I'm gonna have to try to make some rig or some mount where it can kind of mount into the body of the car. I don't really know how that's gonna work, but I will figure it out, I will figure it out. But if you guys wanna see more videos like this where we dedicate like a whole entire video where we go to a skate park and just ramp this thing and uh, hopefully don't actually completely destroy it, let me know by leaving a like. And one thing that I've learned is we're definitely gonna have to buy more bodies. So the body that we're customizing and painting that's gonna be the body that we put on when we're just showing it off that's not gonna be the body that we put on and go yeah, and go do stuff like that because I, I don't want to spend two to three hours painting and putting stickers and making that body all beautiful from your guys's comments and then in one video it's just done so we just gotten back to the house we're trying to get the body of this RC car back on but it's just like it's just rib fortunately it is pretty much dark outside. I mean, there's still like a little bit of daylight. Not really, there's not really any daylight, but we are going to attempt to tow Kayla with this RC car. I don't know how this is gonna go. We got the RC car right here. We got the skateboard that she will stand on and the rope that she will hold. We're gonna tie this to the back of the RC car. We're trying our best to get the body on. If we can't get the body on, it's not the end of the world. The RC car will still run. It's just, it would look a lot better. Oh, that's the problem. You're putting it on backwards. It's backwards. That's why it's not going on. This is the back of it. That probably helps. Yeah, that probably helped just a little bit. <laughs> so you gotta slide in the front of it yeah. first. You gotta slide in the front and then the back should hook down. This this body got so beat up. Like the whole back of it. And surprisingly, it's not even that bad. Only the back of it is bent. The front of it is... The front of it's pretty messed up, but... Yeah, it's pretty messed up. The problem is, is like the plastic under here. Yeah, see? That's supposed to be connecting to the body. So it is what it is. What do you expect when you jump it off of an empty pool 20 feet? Hey, should we empty our pool and do that? You know that costs like thousands of dollars, right? Yeah, but that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Let's tow you. All right, so Kayla is getting the rope tied to the back of it. And while she's doing that, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below, let me know some cool things that I can do with this RC car. If you guys have any ideas of some crazy things that we can do, of course, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be going through the comments. I'll be going through a ton of these comments because I need to read all your comments for the, the decoration of the clear body because I want to make a video over decorating the body and like making, you know, that custom RC body. But I'll also be looking through your comments, kind of seeing if you guys want to see me do special things with this. Like, should I build a big ramp for it or should I I don't know you got it on mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so we don't have too much room to work with to tow you with, so I guess just set it. Yeah, I guess just set it right there. I hope this thing doesn't go into the pool. That would be pretty bad. Apparently, this thing is also waterproof, too. Okay, so stand on the skateboard. Uh, I'm not gonna stand because I don't really trust it. I'm just okay. Gonna... <laughs> All right, well, I got the remote here. Let me turn it on. The remote is on. Okay, so I won't, I promise. Okay, we're gonna start off really slow. Let's see if this works. All right, here we go. It's not, um... Well, that was anticlimactic. I know, that was very anticlimactic. <laughs> Let's, uh, I think there's something wrong with it. Turning it off. Okay, now it's off. Now let me turn it back on. Okay, hang on. Let me see. Shut up, I'm voice cracking. I've recorded seven videos today. Okay, it's working now. Okay, so the RC car is now working. Oh my god. That was not even like one fourth throttle. Okay, hold hold on. I, I'm gonna have to set up this camera. Because I need two hands, because I need one for the throttle and one for steering, because the RC car was slightly going to the side. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that was only half throttle. I didn't even get close to full throttle. I don't know throttle. if I even want to do that again. That was only half throttle. That was kind of fast. That was I mean, if cool. this thing can go 60 miles an hour, ah! Then it can pull a person. Okay! This thing is ridiculous! It can pull you like no problem. Why don't you try standing on it? Try standing oh. on it. Try standing no. on it. I can't okay. even stand on a skateboard by itself, much less <laughs> have a car pull me. I would not stand on this thing. Oh my gosh. I really want to see how fast you can get with this thing pulling you. Maybe we could do another video of like racing to see who can go the fastest. I do have one idea if you guys want to see it. I have an idea of I want to pull this skateboard, but I want to go out onto the street or maybe like a park or something and pull it like full speed, like really see how fast you can get. Um, and then I want to do another video where I pull it with a go-kart. Or actually, we'll do it both in the same video. But if you guys want to see something like that, let me know by leaving a like. I'd have to say that the Traxxas X Max is um, an ultimate beast. Sorry, was taken off the wrong body. Still getting used to this thing. Um, first day I've had it, and we have already completely broken the body. But if you look at the car itself, I mean, here, let me get in some better light. If you look at the car itself, there's no really, I mean, we got some scrapes right there, really minor scrapes, but I mean, the whole entire car is perfectly fine. If we flip and look at the bottom of it, you don't really see, I mean, just a couple scrapes, but barely any scrapes scratches on the bottom of this thing. That is honestly ridiculous for the insane, I don't I don't know if like really the video did justice for how much air we were getting. We were getting like a solid 20 feet off the ground. That's ridiculous. This thing is so cool and I can, you know, fantasize about it all day, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching. This was a really, really cool video to make. When I was young, I had one of these RC cars, not one this fast. I had one that was from a Traxxas, but it wasn't like anywhere near this. Like it was like one of the low end ones, one of the beginner ones, wasn't very quick, but this thing is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do like these RC videos, I would definitely like to do more. I'm having a ton of fun doing them. I'll definitely have to plan some days where I can go out and explore really cool places to drive RC cars and do really cool things with them. So if you guys do want to see more RC car videos, just leave a like. That's all you gotta do. Leave a like if you want to see more. You guys leaving a like on this video is going to show me a lot of support and let me know that you guys want to see more RC car videos. But with that being said, we have left this video with um, a dead RC car body and next time, we're we're probably gonna have a dead RC car itself because I do really dumb things. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. I'll be catching you guys tomorrow in a brand new vlog. <laughs> yeah.